Platinum and palladium prints are photographs that depend on the light sensitivity of iron salts to form an image. The platinotype was invented in 1873 by William Willis Jr., pictured here. His platinotype company of London manufactured photographic papers using his platinum and palladium processes, which were marketed in the United States by Willis and Clements of Philadelphia. Later, other related processes were introduced and were used by artists whose photographs are represented in the National Gallery's collection. The gallery's research team has worked with an international group of collaborators on a project to understand the complex chemical properties and aesthetic qualities of platinum and palladium prints to ensure their long-term preservation. In the fall of 2014, the gallery hosted a workshop and symposium inviting chemists, photographers, curators, and conservators to discuss the technical and art historical aspects of these photographs. The traditional develop-out process begins by mixing the sensitizing chemicals together in subdued light. The sensitizer includes ferric oxalate, the light-sensitive component, as well as platinum or palladium salts in water. A carefully measured amount of sensitizer solution is applied to the paper, which is spread with a glass rod or brush. The sensitizer must dry completely. Paper is positioned in contact with the negative in a printing frame. This wooden frame holds the negative and photo paper in firm contact against the glass using a spring-loaded hinged back. In lieu of sunlight, a lamp with a high ultraviolet output provides the light necessary for exposure. The design of the printing frame allows the print to be inspected during and after exposure. An experienced eye can judge whether the print is ready for development. The traditional develop-out process begins with a sensitized, exposed print. The image partially prints out during exposure. The print is removed from the printing frame and placed in a tray. The developer is poured onto the print and the print is completely immersed. While in the developer, the exposed iron salt reacts with the platinum and palladium salts in the sensitizer reducing them to an elemental platinum or palladium, or a combination of both. The traditional method is called the develop-out process because a chemical is required to develop the image. Throughout the 20th century, different chemical modifications were applied to William Willis's original formula, which enabled photographers to achieve their personal artistic vision. An alternative to the develop-out process was introduced in 1887 by Austrian Giuseppe Pizzagelli. A modern version of this process, developed by Mike Ware and Prudip Malde in the 1980s, does not require chemical development, only water to complete the image formation. In these print-out processes, the image appears, or prints out, during exposure to light. When the sensitized paper is dampened prior to exposure, the image completely develops spontaneously, producing a fully printed out, neutral toned print. However, if the sensitized paper is dry prior to exposure, water must be introduced to complete the development process, and steam is a gentle way to incorporate moisture. The dry print produces a sepia toned image. It is remarkable to note that by simply adjusting the moisture content of the sensitized paper, different image tones can be achieved. Both the traditional develop-out and the alternative print-out processes must be chemically cleared to remove the excess sensitizer. Note that the yellow sensitizer begins to dissolve into the solution. Finally, 
The prints are washed in water to complete the process, then air dried.